In 2013, the artist who painted the work behind me, Barbara Pennington, passed away. Her niece, who lived in Charlotte, inherited the contents of her studio, and there she found the painting behind me, called Selma, rolled up in a corner. When she unrolled it, she immediately was uh, aware of how powerful it was, and she called the museum to ask if we were interested in displaying it. Pennington had created the piece nearly 50 years earlier when she was an art student in New York. Um, a native of Alabama, she came to New York to study abstraction, but was so moved by the events at Selma that were unfolding in her home state that she painted this picture. It's probably not um, depicting one specific scene or time, but a composite of images that she saw in the newspaper and on TV. On one side of this monumental painting, we can see the violence of the events at Selma, the KKK figure shielding the police brutality that's happening. On the other side, we can see people marching together peacefully, people from all different backgrounds coming together. Um, to me, this painting really speaks to the fact that while sometimes art can be about beauty in the landscape or a portrait, other times it can be about showing an important event from our history, however ugly that event might be.